let's review some cat arteries and vessels today. So we're going to start here at the heart and this large vessel coming off the heart is the aorta and from here to here we call it the ascending aorta from here to here we call it the aortic arch and then where it's going downhill we call it the descending aorta coming off the aortic arch we have two vessels one and two the first of which is called the brachiocephalic artery and the brachiocephalic has three branches coming off of it the first one is the left common carotid artery which goes up along the trachea right here. The second branch is the right common carotid artery which goes up on the right side of the trachea right there. The third branch is the right subclavian artery which continues out across the arm and when it reaches the axillary region we call it the axillary artery and where it goes across the arm we call it the brachial artery. We're coming back now to the aortic arch. Our second branch off the aortic arch is the left subclavian artery and same thing in the axillary region we call it the left axillary artery and where it continues out across the arm we call it the left brachial artery. If we now move into the thoracic cavity this is going to be our descending thoracic aorta and then where it crosses through the diaphragm, which is this muscular flap right here, we're going to call it the descending abdominal aorta, right there. So the first branch off the descending abdominal aorta is the celiac artery right here. And this has three branches coming off it. The first of which is called the hepatic artery right there. The second branch is the, the gastric artery. And the third branch is the splenic artery and the splenic artery is going to branch a few more times going to the spleen, which is right here. Okay, if we're back on the descending abdominal aorta right here, the next branch is this one right here, which is going to the large in, or the small intestine. And so this is the large intestine here, but it's not going to that. This is the anterior mesenteric artery. Then if we continue on, we come to this little gland right here. This is our adrenal gland and this artery is called the adrenolumbar artery. This would be a left adrenolumbar artery. Back on the descending abdominal aorta, our next branch is this one right here, which is the renal artery. This would be a, a left renal artery. And then we're back on the descending abdominal aorta, and our next branch is this very delicate artery right here that I've taken a lot of care to preserve. This is our gonadal artery and this is a male cat so it's going all the way down into the spermatic cords and then down to the testes. This is our left gonadal artery on the male. If this was a female this delicate artery would go straight across to the ovary. Okay back on the descending abdominal aorta right here. The next branch is this one this is the posterior mesenteric artery supplying blood to the large intestine right here. Then our next branch, this branch right here, this is the left iliolumbar. So adrenolumbar and then iliolumbar artery. Okay, now our descending abdominal aorta is going to branch twice. So the first branch these are called the external iliac arteries. So this would be a right external iliac artery, left external iliac artery. And then if you look really closely in here, you can see a second set of branches. So this one right here would be, this one right here would be the internal iliac artery right there. And that would be a left. And then you have this little artery that goes straight down, and that's the caudal artery right in there. Okay, the external iliac artery is going to continue out across the leg, at which point we call it the left femoral artery, or this would be a right femoral artery. This would be a left femoral artery. Okay, that's it for the arteries. Let's look at the veins next. So we're going to go back up here to the chest area and the cephalic region. So here we are at the heart again. Coming off the heart, this is called the pre-cava. And then going perpendicular to the, the pre-cava, we have this little vessel right here. This is called the internal mammary vein. 
and this one is illustrated very poorly in your lab manual so make sure you know that one. Okay, the precava is going to branch into the left brachiocephalic vein and the right brachiocephalic vein. So the brachiocephalic vein is basically from here to here from one branch point to the next branch point. And the brachiocephalic vein branches into the left external jugular vein and into the left subclavian vein. Okay, the left subclavian is called that from here to here between the branching points. And so the left subclavian is going to branch into the left subscapular vein and the left axillary vein. The left axillary vein is simply going to continue out across the arm, at which point we call it the left brachial vein right here. And then where it turns at the elbow, we call it the left median cubital vein right there. Okay, we also are supposed to have this vein going across here. This would be the transverse jugular, but in this cat it's missing. If you go over on the right side, going along kind of near the ribs over here, we have this vein. This is called the azygous vein right there. And it's, it's not really dissected out, but you can see it clear enough right there. There's your azygous vein. Okay, next if we move into the abdominal cavity, we have what we call the post cava. And so this is called the post cava anywhere posterior to the heart. So there's your post cava in the um, thoracic cavity. Okay, here we are at the post cava. And you can see this branch, this would be our adrenal lumbar vein. Do we need to know that one? Mm -hmm. Okay, there's our left adrenal lumbar vein. Here's our left renal vein going to the kidney. Here's our, our left gonadal vein. Of course, it would be the, whatever one is the vein in here, but I'm not really separating them. So, right there. Okay, then we have the left iliolumbar vein right there. And then when it comes to the the post cava branching, we have a couple of, uh, we have a little bit of a different branching pattern. So this post cava is going to branch right here. And the first two branches, these are called the common iliac veins. So this would be a right common iliac vein. This would be a left common iliac vein. And you can see maybe where they branch off the post cava right there. Okay, the common iliacs are going to branch again. So here we are at the common iliac, it's continuing down, and then you come to a branching point right here. So the common iliac is going to branch into the external iliac, which is this branch. This will be a right external iliac. And then this branch right here, which is going down, this is your uh, right internal iliac right there. So you have a little bit of a different branching pattern than the than the arteries. Okay, and the right external iliac is going to continue out across the leg or the thigh, which at that point we call it the left femoral. And then we've got one more vein in here, the hepatic portal vein, which supplies blood between the small intestine and the liver. And so it's right here. And in some of these cats, we pay extra to get them injected with the hepatic portal system, so these would be bright yellow. This hepatic portal vein on your practical should be bright yellow. And that's all there is to learning the, the vessels on the cat.